Okay, this is part 49 of my community site tutorial series. Uh, what we're going to start working on this video is um, a, oh, sorry, um, is a sort of a posting system. Um, and the example I'm going to be using is a request tutorial page um, that will allow users to post an idea they have for a tutorial and other users will be able to like or dislike um, any post they want, but they'll only be able to do it one time per post. And uh, how we're going to do that is we're going to do some IP um, IP storing using a database table and uh, and things like that. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already created the page. It's just our standard template right here. Um, our title is request a tutorial. And the file is request underscore tut dot php. Um, now first, I'm going to add it to our top page. So I'm going to create the link for it. So it's going to go to put in our PHP tags um, echo site. Whoops, echo site. And then we want to have uh, slash request underscore tut. And it's going to say request a tutorial. Um, maybe later I will change that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and upload the top file and the request. So after we upload, if we refresh, we have our requested tutorial link. Now, the reason why I said I might change it is because it's kind of large, it takes up a lot of space. So maybe later we'll put it in the bottom area here. But for now, we're just going to have it here. So if we click it, it takes us to uh, our request a tutorial page. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do is on the page itself, we're going to have the form. Um, and the reason is because then we won't have to have another form to submit it and everything and blah, blah, blah. It'll just take up less space. So if we go to the re request to it, page. Uh, what I'm going to do is at the top of the left column, I'm going to put in PHP tags. I'm going to create the form and put it in a variable. Um, the action is going to be to our site slash request underscore tut method is post Okay, so just save some time, I went ahead and typed all this in. Um, so this first one is going to be title, um, and it's just going to be a text box. So input type equals text name equals title. And then our second one is going to be, um, I guess, description, for lack of a better word. And it's going to be a text area. Text area. Um, we're going to name it description. Um, we're going to set a width or a, a style. Uh, we're going to say width. And eh, for now, we'll go with 400 pixels. Um, height of 100 pixels, I suppose. And then this last uh, row here, we're going to have our button. So input type equals submit uh, name equals post btn value equals post. So I'm going to upload, oh, no, before I upload actually, uh, I'm going to say if dollar sign underscore post, oops, uh, what was it, post button, post btn. So if our post button is present, or if it has been clicked rather, else we're going to echo our form. So now I'm going to upload, and if we refresh the page, 
We now have our form. Um, now what we want to do first before we do anything else is this entire area, we want to put it in an if statement saying if dollar sign username. So if there's a use if the person who's viewing the page is logged in. So we only want them to be able to see the form and everything if they're logged in. Um, and we're going to put in an else and we're going to say echo to post your own video idea please log in uh... yeah that works we're not video idea, video request, there we go please log in so now um, I'm just going to go ahead and indent this stuff so after we check for our post button uh, we want to get our description and I'm gonna name it content which might be a little bit confusing um, but it's just easier to type than description here we're gonna say description um, if dollar sign content Um, you did not enter your uh, requests, plus VS, um, description, um, description. So, and what I totally just realized is we also have to get the title. And the reason we're getting the title is because we're going to show um, a bunch of ideas per page. We're going to show like something like 100 per page. And it's just going to echo the title and the username and maybe the date. Um, or And maybe how many people have liked it or whatever. Um, and then when you click on the title, it'll take you to sort of an individual page um, where it'll show the description and the idea and it'll have like a button to like or dislike it something like that um, so yeah um, so inside of here I'm just going to copy this whoops I'm going to copy this paste it inside of here indent it change this to title you do not enter your requests title so if we have our title and everything we want to Require, and this is going to be our connect file, which is in the requires folder slash connect.php, I think. Um, and then we're going to end it. So close our connection. Okay, so inside of here, we want to have a query. So query equals MySQL underscore query and what our query is going to do um, originally is we're going to make sure that the current user or the current title and description isn't in the database already which means you can't double post so we're going to say select all from um, and before we do this uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, PHP my admin and I'm going to create the database table we're going to call it um, requests um, request underscore tut and we're going to have a couple of fields we're going to have an ID um, obviously the title description date IP um, which is going to be the IP address of the person who posted it so you won't be able to like or dislike your own uh, your own post um, we also want to get their user ID and their user name. Uh, I'll probably switch up the order on all this stuff. So, what was that? It was seven. Oh, actually, um, yeah, whatever. Um, try that again. It was request touch, and I'm actually going to take it up to nine, and the reason is because we also want to store a 
a total likes and total dislikes. Um, so that'll make it easy to make it so, um, yeah. So ID, um, this is going to be user ID, username, this is going to be our title, or now we'll do IP first, IP, title, um, content, or, yeah, content, um, likes, dislikes, and date. So our ID is going to be a big int, um, auto increment primary, um, user ID, big int, username varchar of 50. Um, IP, just because I don't feel like um, doing it, I'm going to set it to a varchar of 30. Um, um, but really it's actually would be something like, IP would be um, at the very most 15 to 20 characters, um, but whatever, I'm just going to set it to 30. Um, and that's going to be dynamically set by uh, with PHP code anyway, so the user won't be able to affect that in any way possible. Um, our title, we're going to do a varchar of 250. Content, we're going to set to text. Likes, we're going to set to big int. Dislikes, we're going to set to big int. Date, we're going to set to varchar of 50. Hit enter. So our table has been created now. So we can continue on with our query here. Go ahead and just close this. So we're going to select all from request underscore tut with an S, request to it, um, where title equals our title and content equals our content. Then we want to do numrows. Whoops. Um, so our number is just going to make it so we can check to see how many times this exact information is in the database, which means the user won't be able to double submit. So we're going to say if numrows equals equals zero, so if, if it's in the database, if it's not in the database at all, um, that means it hasn't been already submitted, so then we're going to add it. And right here, these things, I forgot to add the form. Um, so inside of here, what we want to say is, um, you may not double post. And inside of here, um, what we want to do is we want to set a variable for the date, and we're going to use the date function, and we're going to say, uh, capital F space lowercase d comma space capital Y. So that's going to give us our standard format of um, October, and I'm going to say 20th because that's my birthday, and uh, 2010. And by the way, thanks for everybody that uh, wished happy, happy birthday to me. Appreciate it. Um, so it's going to give our date in that format right there. Um, we also want to store the IP, and we're going to use, we're going to say uh, dollar sign underscore server. And inside of here, we want to say remote underscore ADDR. So remote address. Um, after we do that, really, we can just um, add it to the database. That needs to be lowercase. Okay. So we're going to say insert into request underscore tut values and now we should add everything so our first one is our ID our second one is our user ID then we have our username and then after that we have our IP and then our title um, and then our content and then we have likes which we're gonna set to zero dislikes we're gonna set to zero and our date. So after that, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this query again. 